Today we come to you with a new podcast starring your two guests, Corian and Davion. So we'll be talking about the NBA in this podcast and how we feel about it. Today's subject will be the NBA Finals winners prediction. Okay, Corian, I'll let you start off with, with yours. Okay, so the Suns. I feel like the Suns got a chance to win because this whole playoff, it's, it's been luck to me because I didn't even think they were going to be – I didn't think they were going to beat the Clippers. I didn't think they were going to beat the Lakers at first. But they did. They got all the way to the finals, and now we're up one game. Look, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's 2-1 right now in the Suns' favor, and – I feel like the Suns could do anything, but there's always the thought in the back of my head that just the Bucks are going to win. I just feel like the Bucks are just better. I feel like they got more power behind them. I feel like the Bucks can win. I don't really know. I, I want the Suns to win, but the Bucks, I feel like, can still win. Okay, okay, so for my take now, I got Bucks and six. You might say, what? I know the Bucks. we, they usually depend on Giannis to get what he's got to do to get the win. But, you know, if Chris Milton and, and Drew Holiday, if they have a good game, I feel like they could take it. Because if Chris Milton doesn't have a good game, I feel like the rest of the team might go down. If Drew Holiday doesn't have a good game, I feel like they're going to lose a lot. They're not going to really make it far. So what you're saying is that they need Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday to play at least decently or they're going to lose. Yes, because it, it's not all about Giannis. It's, it's not all about Giannis. But Chris Middleton, that's the main thing. Drew, Chris, no, not Chris Middleton. I mean Drew Holiday. Sorry, guys. Sorry for saying that. Um, Drew Holiday, if he doesn't have a good game, the Bucks doesn't have a good game. It's like the Bucks depend on Drew Holiday. They don't depend on him. It's like it's he's like, a key part of the team. But it's like he sometimes he one game he could be the worst player in the league. But he's one the, and off. What you're saying. But the next game he could be the he could uh, be Kobe from three. So, but I'm just saying, you know, the Chris. It depends. Bucks and six, but it depends on how it depends on how everybody's playing. It depends on, on Drew Holiday. That's when I disagree. Like if if the Bucks are gonna win, in any case, it's gonna be a game seven because I don't think that the Suns are just gonna stop winning. I think the Suns are gonna at least win one more game. But there's a game today. June, I mean, July. What is it? I think it's July. Here, wait, wait, guys. Um, we for it's, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. So, yeah, probably the probably the twelfth. We don't know right now. It's Wednesday. For, I mean, July fourteenth. We don't know. I don't think. Know. Look, I think they're gonna win. I mean, yeah, I think the Bucks are gonna win this game, but hopefully the Suns win. And yeah. I don't think they're going to win in six, though. I think, if anything, they're going to win in seven. The Suns could win in five if they beat them here in their home, their home and then beat them at their home. Okay. I only got to win two more games. Look, it's easy. Easy okay. job. Okay, let's go on to the next subject now. You can go on to the key player stats. We can start with Giannis. Okay, the yeah, you want to read off Giannis' stats? Yeah, I got some of his stats right here. He's 29. He has 29 points per game. 29.2. No. Oh. 56% from field goal. That's good. That's good. But then, he's 12. No, he's 57.7.1 point 
57.1 from free throw. That's horrible. See, I know Giannis, he needs to work on free throw. Like, I feel like I like the Bucks. They're decent. They're good. Champion team. All they need is a little bit more pieces. But Giannis, he takes about a good hour to shoot shoot two free throws, and sometimes he doesn't even make them. He prepares. I I don't I don't get Giannis sometimes. In the off season, I feel like you know he should be working on his free throws, his three his his three point percentage. He's his three point percentage is eighteen percent. Yes, that's horrible. I don't get how. Look, Giannis is a big man. He can sit in the paint, don't shoot threes. But if, but if he's going to go like that, then don't shoot threes. He has he has eighteen percent for threes. I don't know how many shots, how many threes um attempted in a game. How many threes attempted? Eighteen percent. That's probably like three. Okay. I don't know, but yeah, that's look. If he's shooting 18% from three, then don't shoot threes. He should know that. Don't shoot threes if you're shooting 18% from three. Look, I know sometimes in that All-Star game, he was he was making he was making those. But look, every game is not gonna go like that. He has to get better at for from the three during the off season. Get better from the free throw line, and if he does that, he already has monster stats with about 13 rebounds and five assists and one steal. Look, and then he averages 3.2 turnovers, but he has the ball a lot. He's the main scorer, which I think this is. Look, if the it's not broke, don't fit, don't mess with it. If they want to keep Giannis at the starting shot maker, they got him as a power forward, or small forward. Yeah, because I think they got Cause Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday is a point guard. Chris they Middleton. got him my point guard. Chris Middleton's the shooting guard. Why they Look, got? Why I they think got they Drew? should make Chris Middleton the 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 number one option for scoring. Chris Middleton. Yes, because he's a he's a shooting guard. That's mm. that's more common for shooting guard or. Shooting guard usually what well, they should be making the most points on the team. No, it's in the name, shooting guard. They should be shooting the most. Look, Chris Middleton should be the first option to me. Second, I don't know, cause probably Giannis. Drew Holiday isn't like that. He's he's he, known for his defense. He's averaging seventeen. He's point four he's doing percent that. a game. He's doing it. He's averaging seventeen points per game. Yeah. Look, but that's good. Anyway, that's great. Have you have you seen his rebounds? He's getting five point six rebounds a game. No. How many assists then? And how many? He's getting eight point four assists a game. Six and six. All right, five and eight. Yes. Yeah, that's great. He's a good, well-rounded player. He's good at defense. He gets assists. He gets boards. He, um. Got 17 points, right? Yeah, 17. 17.4 points. So, yeah, he's he's pretty good. He's nice and well-rounded. But Giannis, too. Giannis has five assists. Five. Yeah, five assists, 12 rebounds. Look, he's great. Giannis is great. And a steal, yes, he's great. But I just feel like he has the ball all the time. Look. They don't need to change it because Giannis is doing a great job at being a number one option, scoring option. But I feel like I want to see what Chris Middleton could do because Giannis has always been better. Of course, Chris, yeah, Chris Middleton got slept on in the All Star thing too. He wasn't even picked, and he's showing people now averaging twenty two points, right? Averaging. Chris Middleton, yeah, 22, 8.8%. Yeah, so that's like 23 points. He's averaging about 23 points a game. In the playoffs at that, the finals, he he got the no pressure. 
he's averaging 23 points. A solid second option at scoring. And then he's great. But I feel like they should give him a chance and make him the first option. And Giannis sit back. But I don't know if they should do it in the playoffs because if it ain't fit, if it ain't broke, don't mess with it. If Giannis is carrying it, is Giannis still going to drop about 30 points a game? Let him do Giannis things. Let him do that. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, I agree on that. I agree. You know, but I wouldn't make Giannis the second scorer. I would probably put him at the at the third. You might say, whoa, whoa, you're crazy. You're crazy. But I would probably put Drew Holiday because if he has a good game, he could steal the night. He's shooting 30.6% from three. That's bad. He's shooting 67.6% no, for, th- for three. No, from free throw. That That's good. That's But he's not the best one on his team at shooting free throws. That's Chris Milton. Chris Milton is all around better than Drew Holiday. I'm pretty sure he has better stats all around the board. Yeah. Well. But, but then... Let's switch up to, you think he should be the third option because you want to give Drew Holiday a chance too. Yeah, because I want to focus Drew Holiday and Giannis on defense. Because if they want to win the ring, they're going to have to stop Devin Booker. Devin Booker is a shooting guard. And they're going to have to stop Devin Booker and Chris Paul. I feel like you should put Giannis on Chris Paul, and then when when Chris Paul subs out and Devin Booker is left, put Giannis on, on, on Devin Booker. But Giannis is going to get tired. So after that, you're going to need to put Drew Holiday on Chris Paul. No, Chris Milton. Yeah, let's do that. Cause, you know, I think the, the, the lineups are good. It's a good match. They got The Suns got a good center, a good point guard, and a good shooting guard. The Bucks have a good power forward, a good... It has a good power forward, a good... Shooting guard and a good point guard. Look, the point guard and shooting guard. Drew Holiday is known for his defense. So, it's obvious that he's going to go crazy. Guarding Chris Paul. It, it, as a, okay, now let's talk about Chris Paul and Devin Booker. I want to hear this. Oh, the Suns, the Suns. So, the matchups are good. The matchups. They're decent. Just with the Giannis and the, uh, DeAndre Ayton. But let's go. Let's talk about the Sun stats. Devin Booker has 26 points per game. He's shooting 43.5% from free throw. I mean, field goal percentage is 30, 43.5. His three point percentage is 34.1. And his free throw is 90.8. He's pretty efficient. I'll give him that. He has six rebounds per game, 4.7 assists, but 3.6 turnovers. That's horrible. 3.6 turnovers. Look, that's horrible. 3.6 turnovers. Okay. Um, You want to go to the next subject now, or you want to read Chris Paul's stats? Uh, Let me read Chris Paul's first. He's almost in a 50-40-90 club. Respect. With, respect. With 49% from field goal. 39 from three-point percentage. And 43.4% from free throw. He has nine assists. Well, pretty much nine assists. 8.9. 1.4 steals. And only 2.2 turnovers. And also averaging 16.4 points. Look, Chris Paul is very efficient and it's good. He's really efficient and good. So let's go on to the next subject. Who's going to be the finals MVP? The finals MVP for my, I got Giannis. Who else? Yeah. So. If the Bucks win, it's going to be Giannis. He's averaging 30 points. You already know the stats. He's averaging 30 points. He's great. 
But for the Suns, it's the it's the conversation. The Suns, I feel like if Chris Paul pulls it out, he could probably. I think he could take it. But you know, they might do Chris Paul bogus. If Devin Booker have a better game, they're gonna give it to Devin Booker. It's either or. I think for Devin Booker and Chris Paul, because Chris Paul is really, he's like a he's like a vet. He's shooting really efficiently and barely getting turnovers. His game is polished, unlike Devin Booker's. But Devin Booker has the points. Devin Booker has like ten more points than Chris Paul, and he's still shooting pretty efficiently. He has more rebounds than Chris Paul, but look, I don't know. But it's also a conversation about DeAndre Ayton getting uh, getting it because he's he has good defense. But I don't think that's realistic. I think it's either Devin Booker or Chris Paul. I'm well, going with Devin Booker because he's the leading scorer and stuff. Well, I'll go with Chris Paul. Well, we'll see who wins. We'll be. We'll come back next episode. Um, leave a like and a follow. This is the end of our episode. Bye. Bye.